This is Vesta, Ranger Swiss Mountain Dog. And Jenny, we're here to show you that a dog can do both obedience and confirmation. Good girl. What you have to do in confirmation is to actively tell the dog to do something. In obedience, you must tell the dog to do something. Now, in both sports, some behaviors, like this auto sit, good girl, is automatic. Because the dog has been, bless you, good girl, line up. The dog has been rewarded for giving or presenting this behavior over and over again without any commands from the handler. This front. So if I don't tell her anything, she's going to automatically default to behaviors that she's been rewarded for in the past before. Just like that. I get close. Good girl. Nice job. Now line up. Very good. Very good. So you'll notice she's right in my heel position. Good girl. She has her obedience leash and her obedience collar on. So she knows what to do. I don't have to tell her to be in a sit because she's automatically, she knows that when she's in this collar and with this leash, that means it's heel position time. Are you ready? Good girl. Now line up. So I'm going to switch out her collar to her confirmation collar and I'll show you that I give her active commands and how I teach her from being in a heel position on this side to being in a trot position for confirmation. She already knows that when she's in this confirmation collar, this means stand. When I train her for confirmation, I don't ever allow her to sit in this particular collar unless it's given on a command. I want her automatic behavior in this particular collar to be a stand. Now that's stuff. Step up, step up, step up, good. A click, she already knows this, but she knows to stand, to hold very still, let me stack her, let me move her around, and do what not. Stand. So notice I'm telling her in confirmation, if you do only confirmation, a lot of people want their dogs to automatically do this. And that's what presents the problem if your dog does multiple sports. If you don't tell it, or if the dog doesn't know which collar or which environment to engage in what behavior, that's when people start complaining and say, you can't do more than two at once. You sure can do two or three or four or five different sports at once. You just have to communicate with the dog. Step up. Good girl. Nice job. Very good. Okay. I'll show you again. Step up. Good. Stack. Now I can grab her collar, I can stack her how I please, and I can move all these legs around, I can move this, I can move that, stack, good girl, nice job, stack, good, nice, good. I can even teach her to lean forward, lean, good, yes, lean, good, yes. Now before I taught her the formal trot, she was in a heel position on me because she didn't know the difference between a heel and the go around or a down and back. She didn't know what place to be. So now I'm going to show you how I taught her which position to be. Next thing I'm going to show you with Vesta is how to teach her a trot. So you remember in obedience, she was always right here, right glued on my leg. And that's a problem in confirmation. You don't want the dog right up on you. You want the dog to move out and move freely. So what I did confirmation is to teach her that in confirmation she needs to be about this far away from about two, 18 inches to 2 feet and I, I have this stick, this is a uh, bamboo stick that you can use to uh, tie vines to or whatnot. or you can also use your herding stick. I, and it was, I used this stick behind me and I said no, nope, I'm going to create some space here just kind of tap right here for her to move out to get her off my leg. So I'll show you. Come on. Come on. Stop. Come on. That way she moves off to me. Good job. Good girl. Nice job. Now that's a very, very specific command. I tell her to trot, which means move about that distance away. A heel is right up here, but this is a trot, and I tell her very specifically to trot when we're in the show. This doesn't have to touch her. We're standing here. I can just put the stick here, keep her feet away, and remind her, hey, get off of me. I want some space here. You don't have to touch her. Just kind of tap, 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 tap. To remind her, hey, get off of me. I don't want her here. I don't want her right here, like obedience. 
I'm from far away, so she's not on me and she can move freely. Another common problem that people complain about in confirmation, whether or not they do or don't do obedience, is the dog likes to wrap its head around. So let's show what that looks like. So oftentimes people will take a treat and they'll stick it right here in this hand and they'll say, hey, hey, look, I have a treat. That makes the dog heads turn, the dog starts hopping around, the dog doesn't gate straight. And people assume, oh, it's because I do obedience to my dog, which they may or may not, and that's why my dog is looking at me and craning to look at me. Well, you have to teach the dog that in confirmation, this is not the correct head position. Yes, this may be the one that you want for obedience. You want obedience. Typically, when the dog's facing you, always looking at you, and in confirmation with the dog looking straight. So I use this stick to teach my dog to look straight. So this keeps her from craning her neck around. you can actually take this away. So I've already taught her to get off of me by using the stick, getting her to trot away from me. And then I've also used this to get her head position. Best up. That's how you get the dog to look straight instead of craning around to look up at your face when you're in the trot. So she doesn't need my hand and she doesn't need a treat out here with the stick anymore. But when we did start, that's what I did to keep her head straight for confirmation. Also, no treats after she's been trained. So she doesn't crane, she's not expecting, she's not lunging for the treat. She's not going to do any of that nonsense. She's going to do is to trot in a straight line. Ready? tell her specifically to stack so she does not auto sit. Again, I must communicate with my dog in confirmation. In your confirmation lead, you need to stack. I'm telling her very specifically behavior to do. I'm not just going to let her pick whichever behavior she's going to engage in. Okay? That's it. Remember, communicate with your dog. Let them know what you want them to do so they all can be successful.